Hello, everyone, and welcome to the All Atlantic Talks podcast, an initiative of the All Atlantic Ocean Research Alliance, aiming to discuss and showcase the efforts involving countries from both sides of the Atlantic Ocean, enhancing marine research and innovation cooperation along and across the Atlantic Ocean, from the Arctic to Antarctica. The podcasts are supported by the European Commission together with its key institutional partners across the Atlantic, all gathered in this strategic alliance in the scope of ocean science and innovation for a healthy, resilient and predictable Atlantic Ocean. So today we are in the launching of our new podcast, episode number one of our podcast, All Atlantic Talks. And this episode will be about science diplomacy in the All Atlantic Research Alliance. I have the pleasure and the honor to have with us our guest, Belen Co-Chairs. I have the pleasure to present you Mr. John Bell from the European Commission. Mr. John Bell is Healthy Planet Director in DG Research and Innovation, the European Commission. Mr. Bell, good morning and thank you for being here with us. Good morning, Carlo. Great to be with you and great to be with my partners Aira and Iona on other parts of our, our ocean. Perfect. And so we have also Mrs. Maria Zaira Turki, Director of Institutional Cooperation at the Brazilian National Council for Scientific and Technological Development. Mrs. Turki, good morning. Good morning, Carlo. It's a great pleasure to be here with my colleagues John Bell and Iona Saletti for this podcast. Pleasure all our so, and then we have also Mr. Jonan Seleti, Chief Director of Science Missions, Department of Science and Technology in South Africa. Good morning, Mr. Seleti. Good afternoon from this part of the world. Glad to be here with my colleagues. Pleasure is all our. So, uh, let's talk about the All Atlantic Ocean Research Alliance. And I will ask the first question to Mr. Bell. It's about which are the core values and ambitions which you will highlight for the All Atlantic Ocean Research Alliance. Mr. Bell. Hello, thank you. Our oceans unite us, but they're the blind spot in a lot of our lives in terms of the big transitions on climate and diversity and economic inclusion uh, that lie ahead for us. Um, and our job really as the people who connect science through diplomacy and communication and through this Philem Atlantic Alliance, is to put the oceans right back at the centre of the way human society understands itself and makes peace with the planet, because that's what the next couple of decades are about. And the Alliance's job is to, from north to south, from pole from east to west, is to bring together in peaceful scientific cooperation the knowledge communities. We have different issues and different challenges around the same ocean, but we can do so much more together by connecting our scientific communities with the communities they serve and building the, the knowledge, the understanding, the observation, the protection, the solutions uh, to the insights that our ocean, our common ocean, and brings together. So for me, our values are those of solidarity, working together uh, using science and research and innovation and evidence to build shared solutions to the problems that we face. Um, our values include openness, openness in the original sense of inquiry and scientific inquiry in terms of finding the knowledge and scaling the knowledge and connecting the knowledge that we need to understand this, our main life support system, the ocean's our main life support system, and it conditions most of the choices that we have and will have in the future. So we have to connect our knowledge in an open way, in an interdependent way, to provide each of us living in different parts of this great ocean of ours with the means to achieve our future. I think that last but not least is a value, community. I think this idea that our, our young youth ambassadors are showing, whether we talk about our co-chairs here in Belém, in different parts of the ocean with South Africa or Brazil, or the countries we work with in Argentina or Cabo Verde or Morocco, or all of our partners in Namibia, Angola, Nigeria, the Benguela Commission, the Abizan Convention, and wherever we are around this ocean, we have a community of interest. We need to build an alliance which serves the long-term interests of the peoples living around this ocean so that we, we face out into the ocean 
uh, and across the ocean at each other to plot this future that we're going to need, however it affects us, whether we talk about our climate, our weather, our food systems, how we build a fairer or, or more just economy, or how we deal with some of the challenges that the ocean dynamics will bring. So for me, it's about making peace with the planet, and that's where science diplomacy has a unique part to play uh, in this great alliance of ours. Thank you very much, Director Bell. So I would like to ask the same question to Director Turki here from Brazil. Director Turki, which are the core values and the missions which you will highlight from this alliance, from the whole Atlantic Ocean Research Alliance? The Director Turki. Thank you. From our perspective, the All Atlantic Ocean Research Alliance allows us, Brazil, to integrate and coordinate our research capacities and potential with other countries of the Atlantic and to improve together and deepen our scientific knowledge. This cooperation is extremely rich in its resources, dimensions, and impacts for the countries involved across the Atlantic and also for the whole planet. The Alliance allows us to tackle together a wider range of aspects important for our planet and for humanity. As for instance, marine ecosystem and species, the relation between ocean and climate, food production, ocean-related energy systems, environmental and anthropic disasters, and the dynamic connections of the ocean, among many others. Uh, regarding the core values, all our common challenges are values themselves in terms of research and innovation. If we think of their effects on the environment and on society, and they are strengthened by the cooperation values, which have built this alliance along years of mutual trust, common goals, and challenges, and the consciousness that we all depend on one another. If we want to capitalize what we have, we need to share resources, share data, infrastructure, and knowledge, and capitalize together the potential which is so rich in the ocean its societies and its communities. And we think of an added value. This relies in our cooperation efforts to contribute to a better living for the planet and its citizens. These are also our ambitions to keep on working together and align policies, provide opportunities, and invest our efforts on sustainable development. Thank you. Thank you very much, Director Maria Zaira Turki. And so the same question also to Director Yonan Seleti from South Africa. Director, I would like to ask you as well, which are the core values and ambitions uh, which you would like to highlight for this alliance, please? Thank you very much. My colleagues have gone quite a long way in picking up quite of a number of those values. But let me zero in on some of them were the partnerships. You know, in the Belém statement, I think this is one area in which we're very proud of the achievements that we've made in establishing very valuable partnerships, partnerships uh, in terms of shared vision, uh, where we want to, to go, but partnership in terms of uh, valuing what each party is bringing to the table for a further contribution to the work. So, we see that um, one of the values that goes together with partnership is that of trust, which uh, uh, Maria has uh, raised. So we believe that at the call of what we are doing is that we treat each other as equal partners. So it's very important for that. There's also been one of the points raised about shared values. In the sharing of the values that we are talking about, it is, if I can consolidate some of the points, it's in appreciating what different players within the value chain bring into the scope of the work that we have. John Bell has already spoken about the trust in the communities, believing as part of our work to empower communities 
to have uh, uh, rich interactions with communities, community, communities not as a footnote, but being at the call, at the center of the work. So this is important in the work that we want to achieve, that we value each one of the stakeholders involved in this work. We value the scientists, the work they do. We value the indigenous communities that uh, are involved in this work. So this is a very important part of it. From the South African perspective, this is about the concept of Ubuntu. I am because you are, and without you, I cannot be of value to anyone else. So we begin to see into each other the valueness of humanness. So Bellum statement places at its center as well this humanness uh, as part of what we need to say, that we work towards establishing the well-being of our communities and ourselves. It is important that we also do pick up elements that are linked to that. We are about investing in human development, in human capital development, providing training to young people, providing training even to communities. So we are about building human capacity, empowering human uh, actors in the work that we do. We also believe in networking, eh? and this is a very important, that's why we are called the All Atlantic uh, Research uh, Forum. It is um, the North Atlantic, South Atlantic, bordering those countries, and we believe in this powerful network. We are very fortunate that uh, we found partners that have already experienced, have a rich experience in networking. So we're building on that. And then the lastly is to talk about collaborative work, you know, collective and collaborative work. So in this way, we hope to build viable Bellum Statement community and our Atlantic community through collaboration. And my colleagues have stressed that point in different ways, but this is what we see as a values centering on the, our humanness. And how do we then relate in focusing on how we can solve those community problems to enrich our human experience, our well-being as a people? So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Director Yonan Seleti. But stay with me because I would like to ask you the second question, talking about the future of this alliance. How do you see the future of the All Atlantic Ocean Research Alliance and in uh, its optimal scenario? Please, Director. Thank you very much. We believe that the future is very positive, dynamic. We have a lot of potential uh, within the community to build a very formidable community on both sides of the Atlantic, in the North, uh, across, and uh, in the South and across. We also believe that this um, potential of building a very dynamic, human-centered, interacting with the environment, that this will give us the envisaged approach to solving the challenges that we have. We see this as a vehicle for the collective, collaborative, uh, search for solutions to the challenges that we have around our oceans, whether it's pollution, uh, whether it's climate change, uh, and the list goes on, whether it's food security. We see this as a vehicle which will come up with innovative, uh, probably cutting edge solutions. We also hope that uh, we will train the necessary cadre of scholars. We would work tirelessly with appropriate values to solve human challenges. We also believe that in our approach, we will have mobilized the communities on the uh, margins of the Atlantic to be full members of that search for solutions around that. So when we look at uh, this, we're not just looking at the science teams that will do this collaborative research, that we use joint and shared infrastructure, but we look at this as a potential for solutions to the challenges that are coming through human activities, but also as a way of building our future capacity to tackle future challenges 
that would come. So that's what I would put down as uh, we creating a very powerful network of uh, researchers, communities, and policymakers to move forward to tackle our challenges. Thanks. Thank you, Director Yonan Saleti. Same question for Director Maria Zaira Turki. How you, Madam, see the future of the Alliance in its optimal scenario? Please, Director. Thank you. Thinking about the future, I believe that there are some key factors that may mostly influence possible optimal scenarios. Firstly, building on what we have achieved so far, considering the numerous actions we have in place in the context of the All Atlantic Ocean Research Alliance, which tackle capacity development, blue growth, data cooperative access, ocean literacy and awareness, shared research infrastructure, and numerous collaborative ocean science research and innovation projects. Secondly, to maintain our science diplomacy keen to support common governmental challenges supported by opportunities and to keep our dialogue active and operational seeking for joint solutions. Institutional commitment combined with science-based policy are a fundamental asset which we are willing to invest on. And last but not least, engaging our future generations as I am confident that they certainly are a powerful and a strategic engine for transformation and change. Our effort to engage young professionals, our dear youth ambassadors devoted to ocean sciences, so as investing in ocean literacy and education in schools is a driver that can make the difference for the future. The Atlantic is the second biggest ocean, but the first in number of coastal countries. There is a strong diversity of knowledge from North to South of Atlantic, but they are strongly interconnected and mutually influence each other affecting the whole planet. This is why we are aware that we need to act together. And uh, I agree totally with the words of Fiona and John Bell, and we are working really together. Our shared ambition is to wise rely on the immense resources, services, and goods that the Atlantic Ocean provides without uh, depleting or exhausting our sources, to abolish unsustainable practice, to control pollution and other negative effects of our activities, delivering a healthier ocean to our descendants. I believe that trustful cooperation based on principles such as equality, inclusiveness, dialogue and sustainability are the key to think together and propose solutions for producing significant results for the benefit of the whole Atlantic community, leaving no one behind. We have been navigating together and we are building institutional, scientific and human ties and a mutual learning which can keep orienting the future of our All Atlantic Ocean Research Alliance is that together we are stronger and more effective. Thank you. Thank you very much, Director Maria Zaira Turki. Same question also for Director John Bell from the European Commission. Director Bell, how do you see the future of the Alliance and its optimal scenario? Well, thank you, Carla. I think listening to Zaira and uh, Yona, I mean, it's one of the most inspiring things is just to listen to different voices from the same ocean. And you see how far we've come in such a short space of time with so many different challenges and where we live on our, our particular shores and so many common interests. So I think the first thing about the future is we have to build, as Ayer and Jan have been saying, on what we've developed in Belém, the north-south axis in particular, the south-north axis, the pole-to-pole -pole consciousness, and the turning outwards of people who tend to focus inwards on land masses, outwards towards one another, to look at this shared ocean, which on the one hand is going to explain to us 
if we explore it sufficiently, a lot of the answers about what our future holds for us, both in terms of the dynamics of transition and the challenge that we're going to go through in the decades to come, and the solutions for transformation for all the peoples, as Isaiah said at the end, that nobody gets left behind. Um, I think this is very important. So it is more than a set of institutions and having 1,000 researchers now working on our oceans together and, and, and raising that level of ambition or a generation, the next generation of ocean youth research leaders and ambassadors. It's bringing in the voices of indigenous communities and the knowledge that is shared uh, not sufficiently widely about the dynamics of the ocean. And it's connecting and building the level of understanding of the ocean, of prediction, of exploration, of regeneration, of protection, and of harnessing the, the resources of the ocean as Jan was saying, in a sustainable way for one and all. We're not going to be able to do that in this age of transition without our, our collective efforts, our best efforts, our human efforts around all the shores of the ocean, uh, producing an understanding of the ocean that is adequate for our circumstances. So to do that, we need next year, when we move forward with a new vision for the All-Atlantic, where our colleagues in Brazil and the United States will co-host us in setting out a new common vision that we will develop together, all of us around the ocean, where that ambition can be, what are the solutions our collective scientific efforts to provide answers to. Uh, on the European Union side, as you know, we've set our climate and environmental transition as the purpose of the European Union for the next 30 years. And within that, research and innovation now has a new task to set direction and to work openly with all our partners. So. One of the things we will be doing next year is to engage on what is called a mission for the restoration of the oceans and waters by 2030, in which we will use research innovation to look at the issues that have been raised by Zaira and, and Yona on ecosystem restoration, on, on protect, preventing and reversing pollution, and on decarbonizing, and on providing the kind of understanding, a digital twin of the ocean that will allow us to understand more long-term, more precisely where people live and work what are the challenges and risks and what are the opportunities that our common ocean brings? So in brief, we need, like the ocean, to be wider and deeper in our partnership. And I think we've got a wonderful point of departure. We need more and different kinds of people to come in. We need to move from being an ocean Atlantic alliance to being an Atlantic community of researchers. Thank you very much to Director John Bell, Health Planning Director at DG Research and Innovation at the European Commission. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Molto obrigado. Thank you very much. It's been a really extraordinary opportunity to work together with my friends and colleagues, uh, Zahira and Yona, and I look forward to ongoing communication uh, in the year ahead with all of our colleagues across this great ocean of ours. Thank you. Thank you very much, Director John Bell. Thank you very much also to Director Maria Zahira Turki, Director of the Institutional Cooperation at the Brazilian National Council for Scientific and Technological Development. Thank you very much. Thank you, Carlo. It was really a very good opportunity to talk about this such important alliance. Thank you also for my colleagues, John Bell and Yona Saletti. Thank you very much. Great opportunity for uh, this alliance. And thank you very much also to Director Yonan Saleti, Chief Director of Science Missions, Department of Science and Technology in South Africa. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to you as well as a facilitator for your questions and addressing us. And I also would like to thank you, my to thank my colleagues. And it's good to have seen them this afternoon. So all the best uh, for the next episodes of your podcast. Wish you well. Thank you. So thanks again to our guests for their availability. And thanks to everyone for your attention. You can find us on streaming platforms such as Spotify and follow us also on our YouTube channels. So see you in the next All Atlantic Talks podcast. Goodbye. Goodbye.